I'd like to introduce Miles Kessler from the Integral Dojo. He's based in Tel Aviv, studied for many years in Japan, Buddhism as well as Aikido. Miles and I have worked together over the internet a number of times, documenting some of the work, and he's also putting together an electronic university, so I invite you to check out his work as well as hope that you enjoy our time with him here. Miles, thanks for being with us. I was in Iwama practicing, you know, hardcore, really hardcore traditional Aikido and um, getting better, faster, stronger, but on that, 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 that wheel of duality, you know, that closed loop. And, um, but I was, I, was, I was getting that sense that, you know, this isn't really, I feel like I'm in a loop here. It's not exactly taking me where I want to be because emotionally I still felt uh, not very masterful. And that was a big motivator for me because where I wasn't getting it, where I wasn't masterful, I was suffering until um, the suffering of being kind of hitting my head, bumping my head on the ceiling of the wrong wall um, just kind of propelled me to, to actually do deeper practice. And, and that, to do that, I actually had to leave Aikido and go um, or follow my, uh, more of a, a spiritual path. And I did some of that with Peter Ralston. Talking about you, you, the emotional freedom that I felt in just relating with people, uh, something I never really achieved in Aikido. And I knew that this was the, this was the path that I was looking for. Just seeing Osensei in a book, yeah, opened a seed that, that had been that planted from whatever lifetimes before. And it was just like, you know, I was 14 and it took me, what, seven, eight years before I could actually get to a dojo and train full time. The seed that opened when I saw Osensei was a spiritual longing. There was no doubt about it. It somehow came together with this this martial arts fantasy that I had as a child, but there was no doubt about it in my mind that there was a spiritual longing. And Peter's book was the first one that was like, that, that could really kind of articulate those things together, even though I didn't understand. And he had a great saying, um, he often quotes uh, from Isai Chozenchi, Chozenchi, I think is his name. And he says that the, 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 the mark of a true master is that he can take from the dregs of the ancients and extract pure liquid. Everything I learned in Iwama was the dregs of the ancients. It was the dregs, it was the leftovers. You know, it's that martial form that O-sensei kind of left for everybody. Saito-sensei uh, in, a, in a beautifully didactic way organized. And, you know, he, he also perfected the technical skill to quite a nice level. And he also had access to the principles for sure. But what was being taught there was the dregs. And I, you know, it takes a few years to learn the dregs and you get good at the dregs. And I just realized that, you know, the dregs only led me to the top of a wall and there was no clear wick liquid up there. I just knew I, I, that I had to find that, that deeper uh, spiritual essence wherever it was. So uh, anyway, so I, I ended up going to Burma for the next, basically the next eight years, I was dedicated to the spiritual path and I was still kind of teaching Aikido uh, in seminars, doing tours around Europe, but I was really in Burma and Nepal doing a lot of deep meditation. And for the longest time, these were two parallel paths and they did not integrate. They didn't come together. You know, I was either um, practicing a spiritual practice or doing my Aikido, practicing my spiritual practice, doing my Aikido. And it took some time before they started to actually weave together. And then I started to kind of get this idea of what this pure liquid, this clear liquid that came out of the dregs of the ancients. And um, I have no doubt that, that what is beyond technique uh, is really the essence of the art. That, that's really what we're doing. Everything else is kind of, it's almost like that this pen is the technical training or Iwama style, let's just say, and the world is Aikido. They're really that different. They're that, the, the scale is that much different. And yet most of us settle for this. We settle for what's here. You know, and that's ikkyo, nikkyo, sankyo. As you were saying before, you know, that we go, what was it, 10,001 nikkyos is going to lead us to the essence or to enlightenment or whatever it is. But you can't get there from here. That's a, that's a massive transmission, you know, and that's something that, that, you know, we, it's our duty to do the same.